So, smartphone cameras have advanced dramatically, featuring high-resolution sensors like 200-megapixel cameras, sophisticated lenses, and powerful computational photography. However, while megapixel counts often grab attention, they're not the sole indicator of image quality. A closer look reveals why more megapixels don't always mean better photos and what actually contributes to exceptional smartphone photography. Megapixels refer to the number of pixels in an image, with one megapixel equaling one million pixels. While a higher count theoretically captures more detail, it doesn't guarantee superior quality. For instance, a 48 megapixel sensor and a 12 megapixel sensor with the same physical size will have differently sized pixels, with the 48 megapixel sensor packing smaller pixels that gather less light. This trade-off can lead to poorer performance in low light situations, where larger pixels excel by capturing more light and reducing noise. Manufacturers often address this limitation with pixel binning, combining smaller pixels into larger ones to improve light sensitivity and output a lower resolution image. For example, a 200 megapixel sensor might produce a 12 megapixel or 20 megapixel image through binning, enhancing clarity and managing file size. However, this approach isn't as effective as having naturally larger pixels, especially for video capture and HDR processing. Sensor size is a more critical factor in determining image quality. Larger sensors, like the 1-inch Sony IMX989 used in premium devices such as the Xiaomi 14 Ultra and Vivo X100 Pro, capture more light and produce clearer images with less noise. While telephoto and ultra-wide cameras typically have smaller sensors than main cameras, they benefit from advancements like the 200-megapixel ISO-Cell HP9 found in select flagship models like the Vivo X200 Pro. These larger sensors provide enhanced performance, though their adoption is limited by size and cost constraints. Other factors like aperture, optical image stabilization, and lens quality further influence performance. A wider aperture, such as f1.4 or f1.6, allows more light into the sensor, improving low-light performance and creating a shallow depth of field for professional-looking photos. OIS minimizes blur caused by hand movement, especially with telephoto lenses, and systems with multiple axes offer even greater stability. Lens quality also plays a crucial role in minimizing distortion, reducing flare, and maintaining sharpness, with flagship devices often incorporating advanced coatings for better light transmission. Image processing ties all these elements together, ensuring that the captured data translates into vibrant, sharp, and well-balanced photos. Ultimately, while megapixel counts are impressive, sensor size, pixel quality, lens construction, and robust software optimization are the true pillars of exceptional smartphone photography. So what do you guys think about all this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video.